bad lands of Alberta, a godforsaken place avoided by men, overlooked by the high and lifeless hoodoos, hills of porous clay carved by the centuries into weird shapes which yet seem to have a life of their own. Through a chasm famous for the dinosaur skeletons found there runs the Red Deer River. And out of the Badlands rides a man who's discovered something else about the life hidden within this virtually lifeless place. Wilfred Hodgson is a rancher, better known as one of the most interesting artists in North America. He draws inspiration from the Badlands, in particular from the gnarled and twisted roots of the juniper tree. The figures he carves from juniper roots are sought by many collectors and galleries. This amazing man, who's nearly 80, has long known the secret of sculpture, never to impose your will upon the medium, but to be content to release the form locked within. Mr. Hodgson's carvings reveal the forms he sees within these convolutions. Faces and figures, life and movement, unlocked from lifeless wood. The passive appeal of Gandhi. The power and rhythm of a buffalo hunt. Although he's carved about a thousand pieces, he regards this achievement as just one stage in a long process. In his own words, these carvings are fashioned by nature, finished by man. Thank you.